Thank you. Thank you very much. Never came to my mind that a kid from Puerto Rico at the age of 17 come into the state and try a new venture in life. It's a great honor, a great honor to be here today in front of this wonderful human being, very talented people who play the game and live the game they were supposed to play and live. I'd like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to Bill Rickney, who in 1958 let me know right from the beginning you are going to be my first baseman no matter what. In 58, I didn't supposed to make the team. In 58, I was supposed to play in the big league. But thank you to Bill Rigney, who gave me the conference to go to the field and do the best. I'd like to say that it's a huge honor to be selected with these wonderful, great human beings like George Brett. So we played together for two months in Kansas City. And when I saw him, saw him play, I say, this kid never going to make it. <laughs> Sometimes you make mistakes. <laughs> I played with Robin in Puerto Rico. He was 18 years old. He came to Puerto Rico. He was hurt. So when I saw him play ball, I say, this kid is going to make it. I faced Nolan many times, from 68 to 73. Like I said yesterday, hitting Nolan Ryan is like eating soup with a fork. <laughs> yeah. Today, I represent my country of Puerto Rico. Today, I'd like to say thank you, Pedro Rosselló, our governor, who is here today. To Eric Labrador, who also is here. Wonderful Puerto Rican. And thank you for being here today. Today, I'd like to say that I'm very proud to belong to this wonderful organization, the Soka Kakai International, an organization led by Daisaku Ikeda, who helped me so much to be the person that I am today. Through his teaching and guidance, I learned to be a better person. I learned that with bitterness and anger and negativity, you can go nowhere. Thank you to all my leaders 
who support me all the way. Thank you, Sensei. I want to say thank you to the San Francisco Giant Organization, Peter McGowan, Larry Bear, Pat Gallagher, Bob Rose, Bob Lurie, because they are the one who brought me back to baseball in 1986 and helped me to come back to the game of baseball that I love so much. I want to say thank you to all the people in San Francisco that in 1958 through 1999 support me, stood by me, and get me and give me the strength to go forward no matter how. Today, my wife Miriam is here who really support me. My son Orlando Jr. who told me that, never give up. Things gonna be good. <clears throat> I'm proud to be a Puerto Rican. Even though I don't live in Puerto Rico, I'm proud to be a Puerto Rican. That's why this day is a wonderful day for Puerto Rico, for, for my family, and for all the Latin country, because Puerto Rico, Dominican, Venezuela, Mexico, and Cuba, we are Hispanic. Also, it's a great, huge honor to be the second Puerto Rican inducted to the Hall of Fame, the first Puerto Rican and only ally, joining my dear friend and brother, Juan Marichal, from Dominican, joining Luis Aparicio, from Venezuela, and Rob Caru from Panama. And I know in the near future, Tony Perez, Tony Oliva, and Luis Tian, they are going to be here because they belong in Cooperstown. I want to say that I have some wonderful kids today. I have my son, Carl, my grandson, Cameron, Orlando Jr., Ali Manuel, who missed three flights last night. Were you here? And Hayson, he's in Puerto Rico now, watching this show. Anyway, I wish I can spend more time here. But they told me only 10 minutes. I like to say that I play with the great Willie Mays, which I learned so much from him, with the great Hank Aaron, one of the best teammates, a great friend. I play with Lou Brock with Bob Gibson. I play with my dear friend who passed away three years ago, Kurt Flood. I play with Phil Negro, a great friend, Kaja Trensky. 
and all my teammates, all my friends in Miami, those great Cuban ball players. Believe me, I have a wonderful life. I'm a very lucky person to be born with the skill to play baseball. Through baseball, I escaped from Puerto Rico. I escaped poverty. Through baseball, I built a name for myself. Through baseball, I opened the gate for more Puerto Rican, black Puerto Rican, to come to this country and play ball for a living. I want to say thank you to my wonderful friends from California who are here today, from New York, from Puerto Rico, and a very blessed human being. I want to say thank you to Adam Lewis, Ted Williams, Stan Musial, Buck O'Neill, Bill White, Jerry Holzman, because they are the ones who got me in here today. And I'm very proud to say that these people who got me in today knew Orlando Cepeda as a baseball player, but most important, as a human being. And please, right now, I'd like to say some word in Spanish, if you don't mind. Quiero decirle a mi pueblo de Puerto Rico, que tanto quiero, y a todos los países latinoamericanos, que es un honor extraordinario estar aquí en estos momentos. Nunca pensé que esto iba a suceder, pero estoy bien agradecido del Creador que está sucediendo. Y quiero decirle a Puerto Rico que nos unamos cada día más, que esa juventud de Puerto Rico, que es el futuro de nuestro país, que estudien, que se preparen y que luchemos por nuestra tierra para que Puerto Rico sea un país modelo y que cada día más nos sentamos más orgullosos de nuestra tierra. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This is a wonderful day for myself and my family. And I'm very proud that I was a baseball player and that I'm here today. Thank you very much.